starting to I'm starting to freak myself out now. I don't want to be in this room by myself. Christ on it! Break it down. This is the time to break it down. Last time, I got scared. The question is, can I get scared again? I don't know what that was. Uh, hey, welcome back. Uh, I feel like everyone says that, but I'm going to say it too. If you're back, then you're back. And hey, it's good to see you. Um, so today, I'm switching it up. Instead of watching Halloween, uh, I thought that The Shining did a relatively good job at freaking me out. So I feel like Halloween is way too built up. I know The Shining was really built up in my head, but Halloween is really built up because like everyone knows about Michael Myers and you've, you know, the Michael Myers mask has been in countless bank robbery movies and I just, I don't need these in. I feel like it's not going to be as scary as I think it's going to be, which makes me kind of not want to watch it yet. I will watch it, but I thought today we could watch Amityville Horror. Can you see that? Yep, the Amityville Horror. And that's because, here's what I know about this movie. A, Haunted House. B, possibly happened in real life. I don't know. <laughs> That's that's the extent I know about this. But I know that it looks creepy as heck from the trailer. Like, it looks really freaky. So I'm thinking, and I mean, even just like this, you know, even just like the cover of this and the Amityville, Am Amityville, Amityville Horror, I'm just going to say, it sounds freaky. So I'm going to watch that. And then I guess my next video will be Halloween. I'm guessing it's going to be similar to The Conjuring. I have seen The Conjuring, like, but this is much older. So my guess is that it's similar to The Conjuring, but has much less special effects. Or if they are special, they'll be, or if there are special, if there are effects, um, they'll be like The Thing, where they're very practical and they're not really CGI-ish. Uh, so that's my thing. I hope that I get scared. It's 9.30 at night, which the sun has gone down. It's that perfect time to get a little bit scared before you go to bed. Let's watch a scary movie. Oh. It's got the lullaby music. This is the music where, like, I could fall asleep to this. But if I heard it while I was sleeping... <laughs> no, 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 no. I would just get up and leave the house. Like, I've actually had dreams where, like, someone breaks into the house, and my first instinct is straight through the window, out. Even dream me survives. It's always raining. Always raining. Oh, is he like. Oh, no. Is he going room to room and killing people? Oh, it wasn't the... Okay, so who was it then? Was it... <gasps> Did one of the kids do it? November 13th, 1974. Amity Longhire. Mother, father, four children murdered. No apparent motive. Wait. Then who killed them? So it wasn't someone going... It wasn't like one of them. It was an actual murderer. Maybe I'm just reeling from The Shining and being like... Jesus you know, he Christ tried to kill him. His kids and... Or his kid and his wife. So someone's going to move into this house, right? They all died in the house and someone's going to move into it. Can I just say, I don't think I would have a problem moving into the house that people died in. Now, if someone were murdered in a house, Minutes? it would depend on the price. You mean that's included? Sure. It could be a guest house with a little fixing up. It has a lake. It has a guest house. Yeah, I would not care that people were murdered in this house. I would buy it. I mean, apparently, if this movie goes the way I think, I'll be the one that dies, but... What a beauty this is. And you know, if people are murdered in a house, you know that that price is going to be really, really low. I'll just, like, bring in a priest or something. Have them cleanse the area. Be <laughs> cool. They don't think they can afford it. 
Oh, that's the same thing The Shining did, where they just, like, go between different scenes like that. Oh, I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. Just one more floor. It's three floors? I'll tell you what, I think maybe we'll wander around on our own again now that we got the layout. I'll, I'll be in the kitchen. She's anxious to get this off her hands. $80,000? Something's wrong with it. Might as well be $800,000. Oh, is that expensive? I don't know what housing prices were in this time. All those people that have died here. Oh, they know. If we had uh, tuna casseroles for a year. That's the real horror story. The time when you could actually pinch your pennies into a house. What do you want to do with this? The one item they unpack and they have to show us the cross. Here's a question. Is it just the one ghost of the dad? So I assume he then killed himself, or is it all of them? Or is it all of them being tormented by the dad? I'll stop trying to guess, I'm sorry. Oh dear, the father is showing up without even asking. Like, Padre is just there. I should find some more movies about, like, possession. I love possession movies. They are so good. Just wandering around inside someone's house. Oh god, is he gonna die? Is something with the window gonna happen? Flies. Insects are never good. But seriously, don't you think you should tell someone that you're here? Oh, I wonder if they had the same idea that I just had, where he's like trying to bless the house. So apparently my idea wouldn't have worked. Get out of the house. Run, dude, run. Why would you still be in the house? Leave! You've got flies crawling all over you! Okay, you were given your chance. Get out! Okay, he made it. He made it out. Like an unseen force that you can't really control, and maybe he couldn't even leave the room. Maybe what was happening to him was just like, you know, dead man walking kind of stuff. That stuff is really creepy. Okay, she's totally sleeping. I don't believe this. She's not dead. This is a fake out. I just want to talk about this because I got it on my mind right now, so I'm going to pause. Like, legitimately, that is one of my biggest fears. We're going to get all existential on you right now, but... So, back when Paranormal Activity, the movies, came out, they freaked me the fudge out. Like, I was so freaked out. I remember I stayed up straight for three days. I finally had to just get so tired that I couldn't stay up anymore because they just freaked me out that badly. Like, this was a movie that seriously just wormed its way into my head. I've watched it since then, and it hasn't had the same effect on me, so maybe I was just in some kind of weird state of mind. But regardless, it really made me wonder, what if there is, like, some unseen force in the universe that truly just gets pleasure from hurting other things you know like and you might say well that's weird or that's stupid but look at humans humans hunt i'm not a vegan i'm not a vegetarian i was but i'm not against hunting or anything but humans hunt and we do it for fun we go out into the woods and we look for something to kill and we track it down and we hunt it Oh, he's gonna have a heart attack. It warned you. It told you to get out and stay away. <gasps> Does a fly come crawling out of his skin? I swear to God, if he starts losing his skin and flies come crawling out of it... Is he gonna go slowly insane just like Jack Nicholson? Is this gonna be like a running theme in horror movies where the guys just go slowly insane and kill everyone? Is this where the whole, you feel cold when ghosts like go through you? Is that where this comes from? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. No. Who else? Because I know it wasn't just me. You turned off the lights in the basement, and you ran up the stairs so freaking fast. Because, I mean, we all know you have to outrun the demon that will catch you if you don't run up the stairs fast enough once you've turned off the lights. Whoever puts the light switch at the bottom of the stairs, screw you, dude. Too many places where things could be hiding. What if there were like... Oh! 
Oh, I'm starting to I'm starting to freak myself out now. I don't want to be in this room by myself. What if you like turned around and in the shadows? No, I'm not even gonna say it out loud. I'm not even gonna say it out loud because if I say it out loud, it'll happen. Is she doing some kind of exercise? Is she a dancer? Oh, they're so happy. What's it gonna be? Oh, thank God, it's just a kid. It seems like such a nice, peaceful house. Uh, except for that. Shit. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable going outside at night in a neighborhood that I didn't know, because you never know what the neighborhood's gonna be like. Who the heck puts their dog outside on, at boy. night? Doggos go at the bottom of your bed at night. That is how doggos sleep. Okay, so the light did not magically turn itself on. If anything, what I would be worried about would be that someone turned on the light so that I would go outside to turn off the light, and then while I was down by the shed turning off the light, they get in the house, and then when I come back in the house, they're already in there, so it doesn't even matter if I lock my doors. I mean, like, seriously, I just go room to room with the butcher knife, like, looking in all the corners and being like, what the hell's going on? Is anyone in here? What's happening? Worst case scenarios, dude. This is a horror movie. Things aren't going to go well for these people. Christ on a stick of fox. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought he was going to hit her with the axe. To a man with an axe in his hand. Yeah, that was not smart. Huh? Maybe I could get a little help. Wait a minute until I finish this stuff. You have got enough wood here to eat the whole South Shore. So he's losing it. I am ready for the jump scare. I am ready for the jump scare. I knew it. What is it with imaginary kids? I'm starting to think that my statement earlier about how, oh, I wish I had an imaginary kid when I was younger. Apparently they're evil, and it's a good thing that I didn't. Imaginary kid. Imaginary friend. Duh. Kind of looks like the house has eyes. Like a scarecrow that's had its nose pushed into its... Not a scarecrow. Uh, a snowman. It's had its nose oh, pushed is into it. This is like the perfect fall setting. All of the leaves are changing color and falling. And this is an excellent Halloween movie. I'll give it that. Plumbing. If I saw that coming out of my toilet, I would call a priest. Like, that's not normal sewage. That is like the sewage from hell. Because your toilets are clearly cursed. I mean, look at that. It is pitch. It looks like pitch black paint. I like how outside it's just like this picturesque home. She feels it. She got that nonsense. Nuns don't deal with no nonsense. Well, that is just a creepy room to sit in. You're listening to weird music. You're sitting in a dark room with a statue of Mary and you're painting half naked that's and he's slowly going insane Are you still cold is it like inhabiting him Turn the light. my guess is they both die they've done the deed and sealed their fate so they must die this house is kind of creepy though <laughs> The screaming is one thing, but girl, you just put out a full sentence. Oh, hell no. She does not just get to go back to sleep after that. Someone wakes up screaming and says she was shot in the head in front of me. That person is getting nudged back awake, and they are explaining what the heck is going on. You're not seriously going back to that house. Why couldn't this wait till tomorrow? You should have just told him and sent him on his merry way to his death. All right, so it's time to just like jump out of the car. Jump out of the car. He doesn't seem too happy. George, you look terrible. Right? She keeps telling me. What am I gonna do? Do you have fifteen hundred dollars laying around? Someplace. We'll just look for him when we get home. I'll take care of him. I'll write him a check. You're never finding that money. Maybe the ghost wants to go. You know, treat himself a little bit. 
Babysitters never turn out well in these movies. She's either gonna die, or this thing is gonna scare her out of the house. It's a weird shot. Like someone's watching her. Break it down. No, no, I mean, you can't do that. I don't know why you're freaking out. I mean, I can hear the music, so that would freak me out. But you're maybe panicking a little too much? Holy fudge, girl! Claustrophobia? Maybe she's claustrophobic. Open the door! Ah, baby! Oh dear God, he should go to the doctor. And it's been going on for days now. Oh, she's still alive. She is going to sue you into oblivion. These kids of yours need some goddamn discipline. Well, you should have opened the door. You gonna look for the money? Yeah, you just shelled out fifteen hundred dollars, dude. You probably want to find that money. Now I was in the house and I heard the voices too, and I also felt the presence in the house. This is um Explain maybe not the, the time the to me, be tell. yelling. You kind of sound like a crazy person. Defect. Well, has that become the fashion now to cover up? Nothing to walk away from. <sighs> uh huh. I think it's yeah, up. Catholic I think Church it's and covering things up. Shit. Yeah, that never happens. I am a trained psychotherapist. I went into that house. You are really not helping your case. The hell do you think you are? Sick! Okay. The church is my strain. Again, you are not coming off as the most sane person. Just have them go. They're both priests. Have them go. Bless the house. It'll kill them and right. the world will be better. What's the matter? She like a psychic. It gives me the creeps. Don't you have any good news? Yeah, I. Uh... He looks like a crazy person. Okay then. That was some kind of weird show of dominance. I felt that. Oh God! Lift up the window! Lift up the window! Don't pull his hand. Ow. Listen to that. Silence. That means jump scares are coming. Oh dear, the exterminator I would call. Set the whole room on fire. I don't know any way they would have been able to fake that. Like, these must be real flies. Bills are adding up fast here. Plumbing, catering, paychecks, the exterminator. Now your door just busted itself down. God damn it, don't sneak up on me. I can see why they would say call the police though for the door breaking down. I didn't think of that. Why didn't I think of that? Jesus. I'm gonna die, y'all. Why are you looking at him so strange? Come on, I'll show you. What is that noise? <gasps> no, don't hurt the dog! Don't hurt the dog! Kill the whole family! Leave the dog alone! Are you related to the family that was here before? You've got a door that was broken out with Mr. Lutz from the inside. The front door. That is creepy. Uh, I checked all the windows down there, not broken. I would never you think sleep it was again. to break it down and open it, huh? I personally don't think there needs to be any windows or doors in a basement. It's too creepy when there are access points like that underneath your house. She tells me about the little boy who used to live in my room and died. This is some really like... Someone's really going at this music. That's not creepy. Hello. Hello. Everybody wanted to come over to welcome you to the neighborhood. Do not let this man inside your house. Under no circumstance, let this man into your house. Shut all the doors, lock all the windows, and just find somewhere safe, because Jesus Christ on the stick this week. You look just like that kid. Kid last year that killed his family. You know the house down by the river? 
you to spit an image. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. She went out the window. Jesus Christ, I would shut the window so fast. I wouldn't have let go of the window. I would have shut the window. John Ketchum. He ran him out of Salem for being a witch. There's witches in this? Exactly where you're living. I don't like it when Kathy witches are portrayed dinner. as like devil worshippers and stuff. Kid. You need to go to a hospital, my dude. I'm just going to keep saying it. You look like you are dying. I gotta see it for myself. No, I you thought that place gave you the creeps. Yes, it did. Those vibes ever strong. It really pulls on you. I gotta see the basement. That's where it's coming from. I'm very sensitive about these things. And I know about them. No, you don't. At the very least, wait until daytime. Don't go in at night. What wait until daytime. He, he kind of looks like, um... Get the hell away from What's his me. name? The Batman dude. So you think it's a demon. And you are still going into the basement. Hey, this is not your house. Well, that's quite interesting. See, that, that wasn't wonderful special effects. It's the passage to hell. Oh, he is alive. I know we're watching it from a movie, but I want you, I want you to think about how this would look from just like their perspective. They are wandering around the house, cross out like a gun, saying a prayer. Kathy? Oh my god. Are those burns? Dude, you gotta stop. The whole church is gonna collapse in on you. Did it like go in his neck or something? The piece that fell off? I can't see. There is such a thing as like oh, it's not even damaged. There is such a thing as like hysterical blindness. I don't think it's called hysterical blindness anymore. I think it's just called I don't know. Turn on the lights, turn on the lights, turn on the lights, turn on the lights. I am prepared. I am ready. I am prepared. Oh, thank oh he just collapsed. Holy mother of... Go to the hospital! Would you please leave that damn fire alone and listen to me? I'm not... Oh, hell no! Okay, now he has to die. He dies by the end of this movie, or I am not satisfied. Is he in like a... crazy house? Just some mail. Would you like me to read it? Is she trying to find the uh, first murders? Oh, it really does look like him. I swear to God, I see stuff move out of the corner of my eye. You guys are going to see me move so freaking fast. Oh, God. <laughs> They're not even going to keep up any pretense. They're like, it's happening. Take the kids. Take the kids and leave. And what the living heck is that? Is that a pig? Is that a pig? With the red eyes? The walls of your house are bleeding. Break it down. This is the time to break it down. What about the dog? What about the dog? Where's the dog? I want Harry! Please George drive. Oh, they went back for the doggo. Honestly, that would have been me, but I wouldn't have forgotten the dog in the first place. Oh, crap. Is, he, is it going to be him? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, he is trying to help you. Stop being creepy. What's wrong with this child? Well, at least it's washing off all the black gunk, because somehow you are clean. I don't think it was him that came back up. I think it was the old witch dude or whatever. That's one heck of an ending. I'm going to have to look up the, like, real story now and see what the heck that's all about. I'm going to have such a hard time going to sleep tonight. All right, so that was my reaction to the Amityville Horror. And it was an awesome movie. Absolutely, no doubt, great movie. And I I really enjoyed that. The Shining was scary, and it made me unsettled. I didn't like Fright Night, and The Thing was... It was a good movie, but this was, like, solid entertainment. I think this has to be probably my favorite of all of the uh, classic horror that I've watched so far. Um, the characters just seemed really like on point they were fleshed out but not fleshed out so much that you didn't believe it or it took up too much time um i genuinely liked the characters up until george hit his wife at that point is like don't like you anymore dude i don't know what to say like plain and simple <laughs> um but Kathy, I, I genuinely liked Kathy, and I liked that they didn't really include the kids. Uh, the kids were creepy, but they, well, the one girl was creepy, and her imaginary friend was creepy, and I don't know if that was actually, like, an imaginary friend, or, I mean, the chair was rocking several times, so it must have been, like, a former kid who had passed, um, but I guess, like, the former kid who had passed wouldn't be evil, but it, at the same time, like, they locked the babysitter in the closet, so... I don't know. Maybe they thought they were protecting her? Um, but yeah, they didn't give the kids a whole lot of story, which I thought was a good decision. They really focused on George and Kathy. And that makes sense, because they also had, like, the um, bystanders, like, the two priests and... The journalist, which I, I, I'm kind of shaky. I don't really think that he needed to be in there. I don't really know what the journalist added to the story. Um, and I really like that they didn't actually tell you beyond the short little blurb that we got at the beginning. They really didn't tell you much about like what had happened prior to um, them moving in. We know that Apparently the son killed his whole family, but that's really all we know. You know, did the son experience the same uh, haunting scenario? Did that family, for example, experience the same haunting scenario up until he killed all of them? We don't know. And I thought for certain that they were going to, like, call up the um, kid that had survived or well, killed everyone. And... Um, get his like side of the story or whatever but they didn't do that and i think that was actually a great choice especially because when she saw him in the paper they looked so similar uh he looked really similar to george so i think that would have just been really confusing for like the audience to have two people and one of them is just so similar to the other um but yeah, they, they built it up really well. There were some parts where I think they could have maybe um, stretched them out. And I think like when the aunt, the um, nun, came to the house and she just like immediately felt something wrong and she just got out of there again not sure if that was actually needed because we already knew that the house had a way of freaking people out and then they did it again with her best friend which i don't remember or her business part i shouldn't say that i don't know if it was her best friend it could have been her husband's business partner's wife and that's it um they did it again with her yeah and actually now that i think of it there was nothing to indicate they were friends i don't know why i thought that um they could have done that with her, 
but instead they did the exact same thing where it's like right away she knows something is up then she backs off but then later on she's like no no i gotta go in this house that didn't really make a whole lot of sense probably would have been better if they had just like not shown the first part but I think they probably thought that they were like introducing character or the audience to that character and her ability to just know things. Um, but I, at the same point, I really liked how um, once she was in the house, it was like, it was very clear that she was no longer being motivated like normally. Um, it was, I thought it was very clear. What the heck is that? I thought it was very clear that the house was, like, suggesting to do this. Um, could have been a little bit more exposition on what the house's motive was, or the spirit in the house. I Was it just to scare them? Was it just to get them to kill, uh, just to get George to kill his family? Or was the spirit trying? I think, here's what I think. I think, and I'll have to look if there's a second one, that George was not the same person that came out of that black tar. I think he fell into the black tar, and the person who came out was actually, like, the witch who had died. And I think that somehow, George and the person who really, who killed his family prior to that were related to the witch um, that was originally in the house and that they all just happened to look identical. So, I mean, I know this is supposed to be like based on true events, but I don't know how much they actually pulled from true events. So I'm just going to say it's a whole freaking story and I'm going to make up my own rules. So that's what I think. I think the guy who climbed out of the tar was actually the witch dude being reborn, either in George's body or it actually was the witch dude and his body just happened to look exactly like George. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to look if there's like a second movie that maybe expounds on this and... It might not be like a second movie to this because I know that there's a sequel or not a sequel, a remake of this. Um, so if there are two movies, it could have, you know, a sequel could be to the remake. And I don't know how much the remake is like this, but it was. Yeah, I mean, at the same point, you know, I'm I'm kind of ripping all these like, oh, they could have done this or oh, this didn't need to happen. But I think that also really added to it. Because they were kind of like just, like I said at the beginning, it felt like this was just this like idyllic family. And you were slowly watching it be corrupted. And um, in order to do that, you have to show them being this idyllic family. You know, doing weddings and getting their first house and playing with their kids outside. And... You know, being a romantic couple. Um, so I guess at the some, I guess in some way, like maybe some of the scenes that I thought were drawn out, maybe if they hadn't been in there, I wouldn't have felt the same kind of engagement that I did. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dunk on them. I think that you know they did a really good job. I don't think this was too long of a movie. It was an, almost two hours long, and I think it just kind of passed by. I would a hundred percent. I would watch this again. Like I said, um, The Shining is not a movie that I would watch again, in all honesty. It freaked me out. Um, <laughs> it was, in my opinion, a very unsettling film. And I didn't so much, I didn't get a lot of entertainment out of it, but I did enjoy it. This, I actually found entertaining. Um, the characters were likable. And I would probably watch this again. And I probably wouldn't get so scared this time. Because I know where some of the jump scares are going to be. Can we talk about those jump scares? Like, some of those were just straight out of left field. I did not see them coming. And I have to say, like, they put them in at good moments. Because obviously, a jump scare is kind of a psychological trick. You're not actually scaring the person so much as you are triggering a excuse me, 
so much as you're triggering a reflex. But they put them in in such a way that I'll definitely say they heightened your fear. You didn't just reflexively react to them. It was definitely something that drove your fear forward as you were watching the film. So I really liked that. But overall, very, very good film. So now, this may not have been a great idea because my next movie is possibly, probably going to be Halloween. And The Shining was really good. And this was really good. And Halloween, for all of its, like, notoriety, has some big shoes to fill. Especially because I know there's like a million Halloween movies. And if I really like the first one, that means that I can watch the whole series. So we'll see. But then I get to watch the more current ones, uh, like The Void and The Color of Space, which I'm really looking forward to. Anywho, I'm going to go now. I am going to, once again, need to watch something or read something very cute and fluffy before I go to bed. Because I don't want to have dreams about this, you guys. I'm going to have dreams about this. I just know it. <laughs> Bye.